Hey, Beaver Readers, it's Miss Chambers. I just want to check in with you because you are my future Beaver Readers. Woo! Yeah. My name is Tuesday Chambers. I'm the Ballard High School librarian, and you are about ready to go to high school. I'm stoked. You're stoked. We're all excited. I got some things to talk to you about. Beyond just summer reading, a lot about what's going on at our school and what is going to be happening for you next year. So, folks, did you hear the scoop? Ballard High School Library has library service hours. So that means this summer, you can actually end up going to Ballard High School and checking out our hours from one to three. We're gonna be checking out books, we're gonna be handing out ice cream, and we're gonna be having you meet new people, which is super fun. So stop on by and visit us on July 28th or August 18th from one to three. And if you're curious, yes, um, we're hoping you read a lot. So it looks like summer reading forecast is sunny with a chance of sprinkles. Okay, so for each book you read, you can initial an ice cream treat. And then when you get all 10, you can come to me and I'll give you some ice cream. So no matter what, we want you reading and we want you fed and we want you happy. So Beaver Readers, we are excited to meet you. Hey, can you guess the top four checkouts from this year at Ballard High School? I'm going to give you a couple seconds to guess. Okay. They're educated, Scythe, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and The Inheritance Games. So Scythe was our number one book choice this year for our March Book Madness. And I'm just curious what uh, top books were checked out at your school. So we know that good books should be in your hands, folks. So hopefully um, you come in and check out one of these books this summer. My number one tip for high school, always have a choice book. Always have a choice book. You are going to end up being forced to read books um, as a whole class novel. And some you love and some you hate. It's just how it goes. So what we recommend is always have a fun reading book on the side because then it's something you've chosen and it fits you as a reader. Okay, how do you do that? You come to the library and you can start by coming this summer, July 28th or August 18th from one to three. This is an example of some of the books that we recommend that you read here at Ballard. Do you have to read from this list this summer? No, you can read whatever book you want. But this list is real good. Okay, real, real good. So if you're like, where do I get this list, Chambers? Don't worry, your librarian is going to have a link that actually goes to this. So you could actually see these slides. And what's great is when you click on the slides, it'll take you into our catalog and also the books that are available on Seattle Public Libraries. So everybody in Seattle Public Schools has a library link account. That means you have access to books with a library link account, any ebook or audiobook, so and graphic novel. So you log in with 990000 and your student ID. And then your PIN is your month and day of birth. Month and day only, no year. So let's say you really wanted to read Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating. One way you could do it is you could click on the cover and that will take you to the actual print book here in the Ballard High School Library. But if you're like, oh, Chambers, I don't know if that's going to work for me. That's okay. Because what we know is this, we can also end up going back here, maybe, and you can end up checking it out from Seattle Public Libraries. We try that now. You go right here to the blue icon, click on it, and it'll actually take you to the sample of that book. Yes, I know, it's super easy. So then you can see if you really like the book and you can check it out with your library card, 990000, your student ID. Now, if you're like, oh, Chambers, I love it, but I, what are all these books? What if I don't like some of the books you picked? I got you. We have everything from horror and mystery and romance and nonfiction, sci-fi, you name it, we've got it. Um, because let, let's face it, folks, did you hear the scoop? We got library hours and we're gonna make sure you have the book in your hand that makes you happy. So we have those that I just you just saw. These right here, some of these are even on Hoopla. So if you're like Chambers, 
I'm not going to like anything you suggest. That's a challenge. Let me know because everything from Moon Knight to the many deaths of Layla Star are excellent. So if you're like, oh, but I really like a long series, kind of like when you binge on Netflix, we also have for you series suggestions. So those are over here, folks. Yeah, look at all those options. And you're like, how do I get access to that? Don't fret. Remember this right here? This is what look at books together. Your librarian will have access to these links and I'm sending them to your families and your PTSA. So you should have access to those there. At Ballard Library, we always suggest you go to the library with your teacher. Um, here's what's gonna happen in the fall. You're gonna come to Ballard High School. You're gonna come in the first three days. You're gonna come to the library and I'm gonna give you a laptop and you're gonna pick a book and you're gonna leave with that. Now, if you've been reading all summer, right on, right on, right? But if you haven't been, this is your opportunity to get into a book quick. We always want everyone to re read at least four books this summer. Ten if you're feeling spicy, okay? So, or more, really. So, at least four books this summer. If it's not from the list, that's okay. That's all right. But we want you to read. Now, I'm going to have you join us in the library right now and watch this video. Hey Beavers, you'll see that's where we keep our charging station. This is where you print papers. That's the makerspace. It's the green screen I use for this video. Back there is if you take a film class. Right there is our, those are our quiet rooms. And this is the library. See how big it is and gorgeous? A lot of clubs meet here. We have over 75 clubs at Ballard High School. This is where you come in the morning at eight o'clock. It's where you can get textbooks if you need them. In general, it's just a place for you to hang out and feel comfortable. We also allow you to eat lunch in our library. Hey folks, so this is a little bit about what's going on in our library. So if you're like, that's nice, Chambers, what does that even look like? Well, here we go. Um, Ballard High School Library has library leaders. We meet once a week and it's all about community and you get community service. You can also read and review any new books. We have eager beaver readers. So you pick the books for the Ballard High School Library summer beaver reader list and for the entire school. That was our catalog. This is our Lego challenge. So you can look at any Legos um, and make challenges and um, create things. We also have a Beaver Book Club that meets every other Friday. We did read Electric Kingdom recently. We also have a Pride Book Club that meets every other, on the other Fridays. Um, we also have math tutoring that happens in the mornings from 8 to 8.30. So if you need some assistance with math. We also have a uh, manga club that meets on Thursdays. So if you're into manga, we got you. Um, we have service hours so everybody at Ballard High School ends up with 60 hours at the end of the year. Wednesdays, we have comic book clubs. So if you'd like to join us for that, we meet every week. This is one of the texts we read, one of the graphic novels we read on Hoopla. We also have a group called Ballard Appreciation, which is part of Library Leaders. Um, at the time, we have all sorts of reading campaigns, like Following Your Heart in a Great Book, and we have a Pride Book Club. So what is our library missing? I don't know, you, you are who we're missing. So on Friday, if you want to share the love, we read with first and second graders um, on Friday mornings from 8 to 8.35, and that's also for community service. We have a 3D printing club, woo! And we always have puzzles going to be part of the SPS Great Puzzle Challenge. Woo, that was fast. Woo, beavers, I was talking fast. Okay, a little slow down. Okay, so you just saw me talk about library leaders. That's the opportunity you have to earn community service. So if you're like, I'm not really a reader, Chambers, I got you. You're about story and you're about community. So we do everything from decorate the library, make podcasts, um, deck, um, cover books for um, anti-Valentine's Day. So we're just interested in you sharing your passion and coming and making the library a better community. So that is worth community service hours and we meet once a week. We also um, have orientation. So when I mentioned you're gonna come in and get your laptop and a book the first three days of school, that means you're also going to come with your LA teacher. So when you come with your LA teacher, um, you're gonna come in here, I'm gonna show you all these amazing things from games to puzzles to 3D printers to you name it, um, and of course books. Um, but then you're also getting an opportunity to share what you've been reading over the summer. So we can't wait to hear what you've been reading. Uh, I did mention earlier, eager beaver readers. It's for the people who love to read. So I give you books that you can read in advance and um, you pick what you like to read. And then we just come together and talk about what we're reading and what we love. So we read and recommend books. We oftentimes get a lot of advanced reader copies. And then we just create PowerPoints of best books. Um, we create, create slides. We try to get people to just read good books. 
And those good books end up being our summer beaver reader list, which is what you just saw earlier. And they also end up being um, part of the Evergreen Book Committee, which chooses the best books for all of Washington State. So it's a big deal. Community service hours are available. We'd love to see you. Reading buddies. Hey folks, um, first and second graders, um, pretty sweet. I gotta say pretty sweet. So we come here in the morning on Fridays, we put our headphones in, we turn our laptops on and we read to kids. So we read to kids for about 35 minutes. We play a little um, rock, paper, scissors, uh, would you rather? And we read them books and we just have a really good time. So it's all about our future beaver readers, our future beaver pups, who are first and second graders who eventually go to Ballard. And we want um, them to have a good experience in school. So that is also available. Community service hours are also available for this activity. We do have a 3D printing club. We are looking for members and specifically a president. So our two seniors have graduated. Um, we have six 3D printers. Um, we do have a replicator and we'd love for you to join us. So um, that's open to new, fresh, fresh faces. So please contact me if you're interested in being part of the 3D printing club. Like I said earlier, we also have a beaver book club. So when I say we have a beaver book club, I mean clubs. That's plural because we have a pride book club um, for LGBTQ students. We have a comic book club. That's where we read graphic novels on Hoopla. We meet once a week. Pride Club meets every other. Manga Club, which has been meeting every week, but may go to every other. Um, and then Beaver Book Club, where we just read great books and eat yummy food and hang out together. So please join us for any of those book clubs. You're all invited. And then this is the last thing we want to talk about with you folks. We want you to goal set for the summer. So if you are right now watching this in your language arts classroom, right on. We want you to think about your passions. What are the three things you really want to do? How do you want to spend your summer? So there's a link right here on this PowerPoint where you will click in here and it will take you to a form. Why this matters is because then I connect you with the right people based on what you write on this form. So we want you to do what makes you happy. That means we want you to tell us the name of your LA teacher, and then what you're interested in. So I can then connect you with the right people. Now, if you're like Chambers, I got a lot going on. I have other things I want to do. Then you would just click other, which may be sports, choir, band, theater, cheerleading, you name it, right? Um, anything outside of, of the library. I want to make sure you're still connected to who you need to talk to and where you need to be. So please share this um, with me and fill in the information. And folks, uh, that's really it. So if you have any questions for me, please email me at tschambers at seattleschools.org. You can always follow me on Instagram, Beaver Readers BHS. Um, I do not have my TikTok going the way I should, but I always could use some help. Um, so again, email me at tschambers at seattleschools.org. I look forward to hanging out with you and spending more time with you. Bye, Beaver Readers.